Hello my friends, this is David Godibadze from Mighty Solutions Network and in this video I'm going to show you how to build the VPN between Unify Router and Edge Router. Assuming that you already have that network connection on both devices, you already have the internet, you already have the LAN IP address, subnet, uh, NAT, everything you need for having the internet and the only thing you need is to build the VPN, then this is the video for you. First, I'm gonna configure the Unify. Now, as you can see, I have the public IP address and I have internal IP address on the Unify device. Both are visible here on this little widget and let's go into the VPN. Here's the VPN configuration under the settings, then VPN on the left side and then side to side VPN. I'm gonna choose IPsec and I'm gonna name it Edge Router. I'm going to put the remote IP address. No, remote IP address of the Edge Router is going to be this IP address here. 12.34.101.14. Let's go into main office and put the remote IP address 14. And then remote subnet is going to be 172.16.1.0/24. Now, let me show you where I get this subnet from. If you go into the remote office location on the Edge Router, Here's the subnet. This is the LAN subnet of the edge router. And that's what you put in the remote networks because this is the remote network you want to reach through the VPN. I'm gonna switch this to the policy-based routing. This is how we want to build and I'm gonna click add. Now we want to copy this pressure key and have it on the remote location. Let's see if virtualization copies the data across the VMs. Note back here and paste. Yes. Now let's go to the VPN tab on the edge router. We go into IPsec side to side and we add here. I'm going to put the WAN IP of the Unify device. That would be 12.34.101.2 and description would be Unify. Now the local IP is the public IP of the edge router, WAN IP. In our case that would be 12.34.101.14 and the pressure key is the one we copied from the Unify. Now the local subnet again would be 172.16.1.0/24 and remote subnet would be 192.168.1.0/24 and I'm going to click apply. To make sure VPN is up and running, you can go into wizards. And then there's a Let's refresh it again. And there's a VPN status here. Let's try to ping from the main office to the edge router. In the main office, we're going to CLI. And I'm going to ping the edge router main interface. That would be 1.1 and I can ping edge router. Now on the edge router, I have additional device. And let's see what's the IP address for that device. We go into DHCP and I'm gonna check the leads here. And I believe this is the device I'm looking for, for this. I think this is the one. Let me check it. Yes. I'm going to open this IP from the remote location. And here we go. My IP address is dot one ninety two, one ninety four. I mean here, ninety four, right? One ninety four. And I'm reaching out the remote IP address of the edge router subnet host. There's a Raspberry Pi host, right? Now let's try the same from the remote location. Let's go into networks and let's see what's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi from this side. Okay, so main office has the Raspberry Pi zero with the IP address dot 134. Let's go on the edge router and let's see if we can reach it. I think Google Chrome is acting up. Let's try through the regular ping. Yeah, then let me open it from here. And yes, this is the IP address of this remote location computer, dot 16, and I can reach the Raspberry Pi computer on the main office. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and goodbye for now.